Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Scrapman bringing you a first look at Sypho. Now, I get a lot of emails about random games that people want me to play on the channel, and 95% of the time, I don't because I don't think you guys would be interested in it. But this one actually seems like something you'd be interested in. It's called Sypho, and it reminds me of kind of like a combination between Spore and Nimbatus. I've never played Spore on the channel, but I have played Nimbatus. And basically, you are a sea creature, and you have to evolve your sea creature to eat your way to the top of the food chain, which is kind of like the Spore element. But you can build your sea creature kind of in a similar way that uh, you build in Nimbatus, or at least that's what the images and videos that I've seen look like. So we're going to take a dive in and look at it. Now, the developers did send me not only just a key for myself to play here, but also five additional keys to give away to you guys. So if you watch this video and you like the game and you think that you'd like it, it comes out on November 13th. And if you want a chance at a free copy of it, there will be a giveaway link down in the description. So why don't we get into the game and see if it's something that you're interested in trying to get a copy of. All right, so now it looks like as you play the game, you can unlock different breeds. So our breed is a... Advena? Creatures are not of this world designed to adapt and kill. Movement zoids go in any movement direction, but lack top speed. Uses spikes and poison to deal with foes. So if I click like these arrows here, you can see here's a breed that I, it's unknown breed that I haven't unlocked yet. It looks really dark and sinister. And what else do we got here? We got some more unknown breeds. So apparently we have to get DNA to unlock different breeds. And it looks like there's four different breeds. So let's go ahead and play, see what the tutorial tells us about how this game works. All right, look at our little guy here. Oh, he followed, does he follow my mouse? Okay, cool, so he follows the mouse. You can zoom in and out with the scroll wheel. How far out can we zoom? Okay, so let's go ahead and, oh, okay. So WASD just to move like strafing pretty much and then he'll point wherever my mouse goes so he doesn't just move into the mouse. All right, this is food. Use it to grow, and it also heals. All right, check that out. We can grow. I, I don't know how, like, the growing versus adding parts works, so we're going to find that out. Current nutrition is represented in the orb at the bottom left corner. Okay, so we grow when we get 15 orbs. Click grow orb or press space bar to enter growth mode. Do I do that now? Growth mode. Where you design your host. Welcome to the growth mode. In growth mode, you spend nutrition to grow new parts called zoids. Each zoid has a unique function. All right, let's take a look. Structure zoids are used to define the shape of your sypho. Zoids can only be grown next to structure zoids. They also slightly increase your nutrition capacity. Okay, so that's my capacity of nutrition, not my uh, level up stage. I thought 15 nutrition would make me level up, but it looks like 15 is actually just my total capacity. All right, grow a structure zoid to continue. All right, so it looks like here's our structure. It costs two nutrition. A strong structure zoid connects other zoids and is able to sustain a bit more damage. So plus one to nutrition capacity, plus four to energy capacity. So here it looks like we can put it pretty much anywhere on like a, it looks like almost like a 12 point grid maybe? 15, 16 point grid? All right, that's pretty cool. So I guess I'll put one on that side. Ungrowing, for when you change your mind. You can ungrow zoids by right-clicking them. This returns a nutrition cost. You can also reposition grown zoids by clicking and dragging them. Ungrow your structure. Okay, so now it's just telling us to do all the different actions. Oh, oh, things have just, things have just expanded. We now have movement, combat, and utility. What is utility? Movement zoids help you move. Utility zoids provide helpful skills, and combat zoids allow you to kill other competing siphos or structures. Grow a weapon zoid to continue. Okay, weapon zoid. So I'm assuming that means combat. All right, so these are spikes. So when our enemies touch the spikes, they become food. Its ability is pierce. So I guess let's put this right in the front. You can see your energy and available skills in the lower right hand corner. Okay. We generate energy over time and skills use some energy. Activate a skill to continue. All right, there we go. So if I want to activate, oh, now my turning is much slower now that I have this on me. So it's almost like there's water resistance, which would make sense. Oh, there's an enemy over there. All right, so this one apparently increases our movement speed for a time, and this one rapidly extends our spike. So if I right-click, you can see we do a little bit of that, which is pretty cool. And let's check out the movement speed one. So here's my movement speed right now. Then I click. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. So it actually, just while I'm holding the mouse button, it does that, but it has to recharge every time. That's interesting. 
All right, well, let's go back into growth mode because I kind of want to add more. I have four nutrition. So what is utility? Can spray a nasty poison that deals damage over time. It gives me more nutrition capacity and energy regenerated per second. Let's hold off on the poison and just give us some structures to give us some more nutrition capacity. So now we have zero out of 17. All right, so now what's this one going to tell me? Use your combat zoids to destroy this egg obstacle. It should be pretty easy. Oh, look at... Whoa, did it just poison me? Do I have health? All right, well, we get some nutrition. Oh, am I too small? Okay, you actually have to, like, reorganize yourself, it looks like. You know what might be better than this structure here, then? Let's just do this. We could just... It's that easy. It is that easy just to reorganize ourselves. All right, and it looks like we can get some more nutrition from this. Oh, wow. Actually, now that I'm doing that, it's making me wave a lot because of the water resistance, which is interesting. All right, let's get some of that. Let's face down this way, please. Face down this way, please. What is that thing? He's actually, I, I thought he was going to just take one hit, but he took like three hits. I don't know if that's poisonous. No, it's not. Okay, good. What is that? I don't know what that was. All right, you progress through the game by diving through whirlpools. Deeper waters have more difficult challenges. Well, can I get something special if I go to the other side of this whirlpool? I'm always like, in games where you have like options, I always want to go in the opposite direction first before going in the main direction, just to make sure I don't miss anything. All right, here we go, dive. All right, let's get on to the next stage here. Azure Depths. It's very, oh, here we go. Oh, he's got an extra thing on him. Get back here. Get back here. Get, whoa, how did he just do, what? He's growing mid-battle? What, oh, he's apparently pretty fast. You know what, let's see. Movement, can propel in any direction, but not as fast as other movement zoids. We have five, let's try, we don't have any of these yet, so let's try it. Let's actually, let's restructure, oh, interesting. You could actually rotate or move the structures that are also attached to the structure. Is there a way to move just the single structure? All right, well, let's put that one there and then we'll take the movement. Oh, I can't attach movement ones to that one. So it looks like we'll have to do some of this again. All right, there we go. So now let's see, is this just gonna make us faster overall or is it just increase our dash ability? All right, I don't know if we're actually faster or not. I guess we'll find out. All right, looks like we got some more nutrition down here. Or perhaps not. I don't know what that's doing. It didn't give me any nutrition. There's another whirlpool already. I think we should probably stick around, fight some more enemies, get some more. Oh, 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 look at how strong that thing is. Did you see how much damage that did to my weapon? That's ridiculous. Was, was that a shield? He like shielded himself. I feel like this stuff is already too strong. All right, we got him. We got him. That gave us some decent nutrition. Oh, the green stuff is healing. Okay, that's good to know. All right, is that the poison stuff that he has? Man, I, we really need to kill these things. Whoop, oh, whoop, I'm having some issues with aim here. Really, I think we really need to kill some more things to get some more nutrition and level up our, or build out our creature. I don't think we, yeah, we don't automatically get taken into the whirlpool, it looks like, which is good. DNA collected. Is that what the blue stuff is? All right, we got six out of 17, so we can add some more. Let's add ourselves another weapon because we we need some more weaponry. All right, we'll put this one right there. And I'm not liking the movement so far, so we'll sacrifice a movement. Oh, they increase as you use them. Now this costs six, it just costs five. All right, so now let's try some of this. You know what, can we? I'm gonna try it, there we go. Do you think that'll work? Ooh, ooh, that looks weird. Does it work though? Oh, that was epic. I think we kind of like did a little life hack here. They, they like combine into one single point pretty much when they hit each other. And I don't think that they're damaging each other at all. That's really cool. And it even has its own special sound effect. All right, let's go over to these guys. I feel like I am actually slower without that movement piece. All right, I just don't want to let, wait, do these things give me nutrition? They, is that nutrition or health? Well, I'm just going to explore this level some more before we dive on down. Cause we, what is that? That must be a movement thingy. Oh, he just shielded up. Can they, can they not hurt me unless they have a weapon? It looks like he can't really do anything to me except run. And he's running pretty effectively with that thing. Oh, he just spawned one of those things too. Uh, come on, right in the face. 
I guess I'll get... Oh, no, come back. Come back. There you go. All right. Yes, DNA. We got all kinds of stuff from him. I keep forgetting to look at these green things and collect their nutrition. There we are. That's good. That's good. All right. I'm liking this so far. This is a fun concept. Like, it has the building elements and... Oh, I've been moving too much. I can't use my attack. It has the building elements and, like, the evolution elements. And I like that. All right. I got him trapped. Oh, I forgot he has a weapon. I was just so used to things not attacking me that I forgot that he had a weapon right on the front of him. All right, there we go. There, oh, what? The whirlpools move? That's interesting. Why? All right, 13 out of 17. Let's definitely give ourselves... All right, I definitely want the movement back because uh, that helped us out a lot, I believe. Utility. Let's try some of this utility stuff. I don't know how it works, to be honest. I guess we'll put it right there. We press Q to use it. One more of these, just for the sake of having some more nutrition. All right, we'll do a little bit of that. There we go. All right, let's see. Q. All right, so that just leaves it off to the side. It's, oh, we can keep holding it and it uses like all of our energy. I don't know how I feel about that right now. I mean, I kind of feel like I want to keep the spikes going out in front of me. But I also want this to leave something out in front of me. And something tells me that we cannot attach spikes to that. Let's find out. No, we cannot. All right, well, let's just keep going. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. We got an enemy now. All right, let's poison. Leave some poison down. All right, I'm out of energy. But he's po- You can see the poison having an effect, I think. Hey, man, he is gone. He is gone. I'm gonna try to catch up to him. I wonder if something can increase my energy regeneration at all. Like the speed that w that it regenerates. It's pretty fast right now, but faster would be better. All right, so based off of that test, I think I like spikes better than poison. So I'm gonna sacrifice this utility here and put another spike on. Now the advantage of the, uh, of the utility is that it also gives us nutrition capacity, whereas the spikes do not. But I really want this spike back. All right, there we go. Let's give ourselves... Can we do two more movement? Ooh, just one. All right, you know what? Let's sacrifice this. Whoops. We're going to give ourselves three more movement here. Sacrificing one of these um, structure pieces. All right, let, we should be a lot faster now. Let's find out. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That is so much faster. I like this. Is that... Is that harmful? Whoa. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is harmful. All right, should we dive? This is a huge whirlpool. Should we dive into it? The size? Oh, we didn't have an option there. It did it for us. Apparently, if you get too close to the center, it takes you automatically. What have we done? We are not prepared for this. Apparently, the size of the whirlpool does matter. Oh, I am so done. I am so done. Oh, no, look how fast he is. Get his pinchers. Get his, yes. Oh, oh. Get his pincher. Wait, what? Are those bubbles, da they don't think they damage me. I think they just keep me at bay. Look at that. Okay, I think we got this. He only had those two things. Yes, yes. I thought I was so done. I really thought I was so done there. Can we just keep like harvesting him for more? I think we can. Oh, I cannot believe that we just defeated this guy. Oh. Talk about the underdog story with that one. Man, look at all of this. We're gonna probably get... N no Zoid added. Nerve fiber. Oh, we get new Zoids too? I want to see. Here, before we even go on. Nerve fiber. Oh. Oh. Okay, so this, plus one nutrition, plus four energy capacity. This, same thing, but what's the difference? Ability heal. So this gives us the ability to heal. So I like that. So can we just, like, replace these ones with that? Let's do that. Here, let's put that one there. All right, I like the way, that, I like the shape that we're taking right now. So now we should have some healing in addition to our normal everything else. All right, so let's dive back. Are we diving back or are we diving somewhere? Humming reefs. This is somewhere new. Okay. All right. This all right, This guy seems to be coming. What is What is that flowery thing? That's kind of interesting. Eh. Get him. Get him. Oh, whoa. He just, he's shooting missiles. Do they attack each other too? That's kind of cool. 
Uh oh, don't let him, don't let him pinch me. Don't let him pinch me. Eh, there we go. So I want if what? Okay, I think we're, I think we're. Once we destroy like the main body of it, I think they're done. But he like regenerated his pincher right after I defeated it. So I wonder if that's just them going into build mode and then putting something down, like the equivalent of that. Ooh, ooh, what is, I wanna get that. I wanna get that thing. How do we get over there? How do we get over there? I'm gonna use my special, bo oh, look at that boost. That boost is even stronger too with all these new parts. All right, here we go. Oh, no problem, no problem. Oh, you too, you want some too? You want some too? Oh, oh, he's actually hurting me. Oh yeah, what are you gonna do now, huh? What are you, oh. That guy looks even tougher. He stole my nutrition. I cannot believe he just stole my nutrition. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna siphon off this guy really quick. There we go. All right. Yeah, you can see the healing happening. All right. DNA collected. Good. You think I can defeat this guy? He has four pincers. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. I missed. There we go. Strategic shots. Strategic shots. There we go. There's one pincher down. Oh, he's getting close. There's another pincher down. Oh, whoa. He's waving back and forth. It's making it really hard. I don't know if he's doing that on purpose. What's the deal here? Come on. He's like, what, is the, what are you doing? Let me hit it. You can't hurt me if you're doing that. What is go? Oh, oh, he's going after someone else. Okay, we'll just let him be distracted for a little bit. All right, here I come. Here I come. Eh, what are you gonna do now, huh? What are you gonna do? Oh, you're gonna shield yourself and run away. Okay, makes sense. There we go. All right, and you are done. All right, 17 out of 18. What are we gonna add? One more attack might be in order. I want more combat options. I wonder what kind of combat options we're eventually gonna have. You know what? Let's do... We're gonna put this right there. We're gonna put this right there. We have 10 left. Seven for this one. We can even put that angling in. I like this angling in stuff. I feel like it, it adds for a really strong singular focus of attack. So now we need eight total to get our next spike. So we're a little bit uneven right now. Look at that. I hope that that works the way I'm intending it to. Should we angle it like one more like that? Oh, these things actually go a lot farther than I thought. I think I've been limiting them with the way I've been doing this so far. Hold on, let's open this up a little bit. Put these ones out by one tick. Oh, that, now they're just straight though. I don't know how I feel about that. I like it better when they're kind of converging onto a singular point. Unless, here we go, here we go, I got this. Watch this. Here, let's move this guy back. Let's move this guy back. And we can move this up one like that. Move this guy over. And now, is that gonna allow them to go further? It does, I think they do go further now. All right, how's this looking? I think I have more range like that. So let's keep it like this. All right, let's go into this whirlpool and see what we're gonna be dealing with. Sprangled greens. What does that mean? These greens sure are sprangled. Oh, there we go. There we go. You're purple. Okay, you got some of that stuff. Whoa, whoa. All right, let's uh, back away for a little bit. Let ourselves heal. Okay, good. All right, now let's... Uh, I want some of those weapons. All right, you know what? You know what? You know what? Eh. Dang it. Eh. Dang it. Get back. Why are you running? You have the weapon. You just like hurt. Oh. Okay. Yeah. You guys. You guys go after each other. You guys hurt each other for a little bit. I'll get whoever's left over. <laughs> Man, they're fast too. All right. What is that? Is that hurting me? Oh, that hurts me. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. Looks like we got some nutrition. I'm going to scavenge these pieces that somebody else killed. Thank you. All right, can I can I take you on? All right, I think I took out your weapon, so that's good. And he's gone. Oh, there he is, there he is. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, stay trapped, stay trapped. No, no, yes, yes, come back, come back. There we are, yes. DNA collected seven out of 100. Is that per area? Oh, no, it's per, oh, I get it now. So there's different species or different breeds that I'm fighting. And I have to collect the DNA of that individual breed to unlock that breed. So I just collected like eight out of a hundred of this particular breed, but for other breeds, I have more DNA. Okay, I just, that just clicked with me. All right, now we have enough for our other spike to make this symmetrical. And now when we click, all right, I don't know, part of me feels like they should go out straighter a little bit, but then like now, 
They're not focusing on a single point, though. I like focusing on a single point. I feel like I could take out their, like, whatever piece I aim at. I could take it out much quicker if I just focus it all on one single point like this. All right, and... Oh! Oh! Oh, just like that. Yes! Come back. Come back. Don't run away from me. There we go. What do you... You don't even have any weapon. Oh, that's because you're getting attacked by that guy. I'll just attack... No, no, no. Don't take... Oh, you stole my nutrition. Don't run away from me. I know you feel guilty. Don't run away. You can't just steal someone's kill like I did earlier and get away with it like I did earlier. All right. Well, that felt pretty good. That I feel like... I feel like I have a formidable beast here. There we go. All right, let's go into another whirlpool, see where it takes us. Ooh, the queen's hive? Oh, I don't like the sound of that. I really don't like the sound of the, oh, there are so many missile launcher things. <gasps> Why? Can we find another whirlpool out of here? All right, this might be where we die. This might be the end. Do these things give us it? Do we have to use these? Get ourselves some more nutrition. Listen to that, those drums. It's so ominous. All right, 11 out of 20. I'm gonna give myself movement. Yeah, I'm gonna go with movement on this. There we go. This is our new design right here. Here we go, on to the queen. I'm very nervous. What are the, are those from her? What? That's all poison. That is all poison. What am I supposed how I can't even get by that? What am I supposed to do with this? Look at all those missile things. Oh no, we are so Oh, what am I doing? We are so done. It's gonna she's gonna eat us alive. Oh no. Oh, whoa, there's the current taking me down here. Is that my escape? I don't know what we're supposed to do. Other than get demolished. Can we save? Can we like save? Oh, I don't know what happens when I die. Do I lose everything if I die? I feel like I do. All right, come at me. Come at me. I'm going all in. All in. I'm going to try to stick to her outside, though. Uh, uh, go, 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 go. Get something. Get something. Get the things. Okay, we did, we did some damage. We didn't lose. Oh, this one looks damaged over here. We didn't really lose anything, though. Aren't you supposed to be healing yourself? The problem is, like, now if I lose this- Look at the health. It's supposed to heal. Ability heal. Do I have to press something for that? Oh, I do! There we go. Yes, heal. Please. I didn't realize that until just now. Alright, alright. This is good. This is good. We can retreat and heal. But then can she build? Can she, like, rebuild herself? I don't know. Alright, so if we can attack and retreat and keep healing in between, we might stand a chance. I don't know if she rebuilt. Alright, here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. There we go. Ugh. Ugh. Get him. All right. So that time I definitely, I definitely took out two of her things. Oh no, she is rebuilding. Is she rebuilding those two? I don't know. I don't know if she's rebuilding her weapons or not. Oh, here we go again. Here we go again. Uh, get through. There. Go. Keep going. Oh, there's some poison. No, heal. Heal. Oh, I am so stuck right now. Go, 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 go. Oh, please, no. Please, no. Heal. Do things. Yes. 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 Yes, the weapons are gone. Where's the core? I see the core right there. Heal. Heal, heal, heal. Oh, no, there's some more poison. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh. We did it. We did it. We lost our weapon. But we survived. I cannot believe we survived this. What is that? Zoid. And, oh, we get Zoids when we beat bosses. That's how we get new Zoids. It's from bosses only, it seems like. That's all we... Oh, no, there we go. There we go. That's what I want right there, too. There we go. Let's go get some of this stuff over here as well. All right, so it looks like when you lose a piece, you lose a piece. But this is a new weapon, a grabber. Grabber has learned to decide for a whole colony where it goes. Colony follows? What? Ability? Grapple. I don't understand that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's going on here? This Zoid was destroyed and will use nutrition to regrow automatically. Hmm. That's interesting. I don't know what that exactly how that works, but let's put this down. Grabber is E. Alright, E. Well, what? Does it just pull you in? Ho! 
Whoa! So that probably just reaches out, pulls them in, and then I can stab them with my stabby spikes. All right, well, let me see something here. All right, this is interesting. So if I could, like, grab and then hit it when it pulls it into me, that would be pretty cool, but I would want more spikes for this to work. Wait, wait, let's go back out, just give it a try. All right, what do we got? We're in Earthly Blossoms. All right, I have to press the E and then right click. Five more to get myself another spike, and then I should be doing that going on. All right, all right, all right, we got this. Where's our enemy? We need to pull this enemy, and I want to see. This is it gonna be like Scorpion style? Come here! Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. Well, this guy's got healing and stuff. This is a new species, I think, or a new breed. All right, eh? Oh, look at that, I love it. I love it. Oh, yes. It works exactly as I hoped. Oh, we just grab it, and then we just annihilate them. We just need more spikes, which after killing these things, I'm, I'm assuming that we will get. Oh, but it uses lots of energy, doesn't it? Oh yeah, it does. It does, oh, he's done. He is so done. No, 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 no. You get back here. Come on, I just want that one piece, please. Here, there we go. There we go, give me those, thank you. Can I take, can I take that too? Thank you. All right, now we have enough. We get our last spike here. All right, yes. And are you ready? Are you ready? Huh? <laughs> it's so perfect. It works exactly like I wanted. Oh, I love that. All right, so this is what I've built for this episode so far. And obviously, if we play more, we can build this thing to bigger and better things like those bosses that we fought. So let me know in the comments, do you like this game? Do you want to see more of it on the channel? And if you want to enter the giveaway, check the link down in the description. I really like the concept of this game. It's really fun trying to build your own evolving thing. And I like how it evolves the way that you want it to evolve, especially. So, oh, here's a guy over here. Let's go ahead and uh, just do a little bit of this. Come on, get over here. Get over here. Get over here. There we go. Yep. Yep, this is my new favorite. I feel like my spikes could go a little bit more forward, though, because I feel like I don't have that big of a... Uh, oh, where's he going? Get, I was... I was... I'm finishing you off for the end of the episode, please. All right, we're at... Oh, oh, oh. He's gonna finish. No, he's mine! <laughs> I just ate him. Like, literally ate him. Oh, whoa! 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 Excuse me? What are those things? Excuse me? He was drinking my blood or something. I didn't like that very much. All right, I don't think he actually destroyed any of me, though, so that's good. Let's heal up a little bit. All right, so like I said, let me know what you guys thought. If you enjoy finding games like this, definitely subscribe to the channel, because I like to check out random games whenever uh, they come across my path or I come across their path. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.